Dishonor thy father. This article was actually written in August 22nd, 2002 by Jerry Capisci. Serving his fourth federal prison stretch for a parole violation, Colombo Capo John Sonny Francis at 85 has the dubious honor of being the oldest New York gangster behind bars. Due out of slammer in January 2004, a few weeks before his 87th birthday, the legendary gangster has the distinct dishonor of being there because he was fingered by his own son. Francis, the ultimate stand-up wise guy, already knew he had one son who had gone wrong, depending on your perspective. That was Michael, the so-called yuppie dom, a former capo who was recently boasted that he fixed major league baseball games in the 1970s and discussed drug deals with Reverend Al Sharpton in 1983. He now coaches Little League Baseball and preaches the evils of the mob life at up to $7,500 per sermon. What Sonny Francis did not know on Thanksgiving Eve of 2000 and may not learn until he reads this column is that his namesake, John Francis Jr., his son, was a FBI informer and had betrayed him to the feds. Sources told Gangland that John Jr. Francis, a hard drinking drug abuser who never graduated above the rank of mob associate, tipped the FBI that his dad was going to meet a few crew members the day to talk about their recent indictment. Francis, whose paroles, who parole ends in 2020 when he is 102, is forbidden from meeting with wise guys, something he's been caught doing four times since his release from prison in 1982 after he had served 12 years of a 50-year sentence for a bank robbery. A month earlier on August, on, I'm sorry, on October 20th, Francis, with a long history of business dealings with friendships with singers, other celebrities attend Long Island fundraiser for Carl Baldwin Breast Cancer Research Fund and got his picture taken with Alex Baldwin. Well, Alec Baldwin. During his heyday, Francis often rubbed elbows with celebrities like Frank Sinatra, Sammy Davis Jr., and Jimmy Rosali, and always had a front row when he put, when they played at the Copa. He was he was a silent partner in Buddha Records, and had financially interest in the early porn classic Vitro. On November twenty first, two thousand. As Sonny and Son chatted at the Greenville Starbucks, soldier Leonardo Big Lenny Dello, now 74, and another father and son team, Sammy Glasso Jr., who's, who's 57, and Glasso III, who's 35, stared eyed FBI agents posing as lovers sat at the next table with their ears focused on the husband's conversation. The agents didn't overhear anything incriminating. Sonny is a hands-on guy and just wanted to be brought up to speed on the Glosso case, said one source. But since he repeat, he's a repeat offender, the mere meeting was enough to cost three years more in prison. Since 1970, when he went to prison in 1967, conviction for a masterminding a bank robbery ring of misfits and rejects. Many Putins, include Gangland, believe the case tainted by perjury testimony. Francis has spent less than eight years outside prison walls. His current home is a federal prison in Million, Michigan. John Jr. Francis Jr. John Jr. Francis Jr. who spent several years trying to win his father a new trial in the late 1980s. His late major effort failed in 1988 became an FBI informer to help invade minor drug charges to help his mother Tina invade fraud charges sources say. John Francis Jr. rats on his own father. 
Like, come on, what a fucking piece of shit. I don't care what excuse he had. He needed medicine for the HIV virus. Man, I, I, I can't even understand someone just ratting on their friends. But this guy is the worst piece of shit fucking ever ratting on his own father. Man, see, that's what drugs do to you, man. When you take drugs, like, like you just don't give a fuck about nothing. You know, Sonny just passed away recently. You know, R.I.P. to Sonny Francis, a real gangster. But man, I feel so bad for the father. And his heart was broken by his son, man. Can you imagine, the, like, that happening? You're, like, it's it's just a crazy story. So I sat and I read the article. That re article was actually written in 2002 by Jerry Capici, Gangland News. I read the article. Some of y'all didn't like the whole computer thing and i did my best to read the article hope you guys enjoyed um this video but man i just wanted to come on here and talk about this and read that article man man that's really fucked up that john jr francis would do that to his father man what a fucking piece of shit man you know karma's a motherfucker so i just wanted to do this short video on this this is a fucking crazy video. Make sure y'all like and subscribe. Friday night bodega is Friday at 1030. Make sure everyone tunes in. Um, thank you to all the support I'm getting. I'm up to 528 subscribers. I really, really appreciate it. I really do. And um, like I said, I just wanted to come on here, do a short video for y'all. I'm going to premiere it on YouTube. So this is basically pre-recorded, but um, hey, thanks for the support. Like and subscribe. Kane Shades Unk Friday Night Bodega will be dropping live Friday night at 10. My producer, ACP Carter, will be there. I hope to see y'all there, and I'm out of here.